you guys doing? It is time for another chit chat, baby. And with this chit chat, we're going to be setting, well, the goal is to set my hair in these large twists. And that's going to be a separate video. Um, so I'm going to be taking down my hair. Now, I washed my hair yesterday. And girl, I was fit to be tied because I couldn't find... I wanted to really get into my scalp, like really, really make sure that my scalp was clean, which I, I feel like it is. Um, so I was looking for my clarifying shampoo. JB used up all of it, playing in a deck. I'm like, you owe me some some more product. He just looked at me. I'm like, no, you you need to take your little uh, money you got and, and buy me some more shampoo. <laughs> oh, y'all. Anyway, it is Monday. It is President's Day. <clears throat> Why do we have President's Day off? Girl, I'm not going to complain. So, um, y'all, my ends. I've been really, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain about this. But I've been really trying to stay on top of my ends. And I don't know what's going on. Like, look, look, what the hell? Like, I'm, I'm going to have to. <laughs> Girl. I know y'all thinking Vivian, get it together, sis. I know, I'm gonna get it together. So y'all know how we do these chit chats. I talk about what's going on in my personal life. Um, and then we talk about what I'm watching on YouTube and what I've been watching on TV. Now you guys, I'm gonna really try hard not to come off as pity, par pity party because I'm not that type of person, but over this pandemic i am over it i i am like i don't think that i'm depressed my anxiety i think i have somewhat under control my mood has just been blah like and i know there are some of y'all who feel the same way like i don't think i'm depressed but I'm just over it. I just, and I know that we're not going to ever be back to normal, whatever normal was, right? But my husband, you know, was like, you know, what can we do for spring break? You know, you want to go do this and this and this. And at first I was like, yeah, that, that sounds cool. But then I snapped. Like I had like a moment where I snapped. Not necessarily at him, but just said everything i'm like no i don't i don't want to i don't want to do anything because it doesn't even feel right like we've been doing many staycations to where we go somewhere within two hour radio you know within arizona we haven't left the state at all um and i was just like no i don't want to do that i don't want to go anywhere and it's just not the same <sighs> And I get it. Some people are living, still living their lives, you know, being cautious and traveling. But I just, I don't know, y'all. I don't, I don't know. I just feel blah. You know what I mean? And I'm just sick of this. Um, I'm not even going to get into still the losses that I am seeing. <sighs> now nah, people, pets are dying. Like, I know of at least, since the pandemic had hit, I know of at least half a dozen people that have lost pets. Like, even my neighbor across the street, their cat of 20 years died last week. And I'm like, I mean, granted the cat was old, 20 years old, you know? But I'm like, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get something to help to detangle my hair, hold on. So yeah, I've been feeling a certain type of way. Um, I really do feel like a lot of things that are going on, um, a lot of people around me are under spiritual attack. I, I'm I'm seeing that. I don't feel like I'm going through that, but I'm definitely witnessing it. Um, I've been trying my best to pray for people in those situations, and it's sad to to see what's going on with a lot of people. Um, with all of that being said. I am forever very grateful and I, to humble myself in the midst of all of this, I still thank God for everything, y'all. I, 
I would have lost my mind by now, honestly, if it wasn't for God. I, I don't know about you, but I would have lost it if it wasn't for God and his grace. And I, I thank him every morning. Let's jump off of that. And, um, you know, everything else is going well. Um, my husband is, is doing good and, you know, it's still crazy at work, but he's doing good. JB's doing well. You know, I had to have a come to Jesus moment with JB because with homeschooling, he was like, he was basically, I don't want to say he was being lazy. He wasn't trying. And I'm like, I need for you to try because if you're telling me you're, you're struggling, I can help you, but you, you need to let me help you or ex you need to, you need to at least try. And if I really see you're struggling, then we can see what we can do. We're back on track with that. And he's doing, he's doing good, you know. And so, um, we are going to be homeschooling year round. We're not taking a break because we're still, because <laughs> JB was already struggling in some areas and he has, uh, what is it called? He's regressed in certain areas and then, and then sometimes he'll do well. So we are still in first grade in certain parts and then second grades on others. But you know, that's the good thing about homeschooling is that you can be flexible and take your time. We do test as far as math go, we, we test, but as far as, you know, reading and excuse me, language arts, not a lot of testing, but he actually has a test next week in math. Um, and he's been doing better with, that's a lot Let me, let me back up. I do, I do give him a spelling test every week. And at first he was struggling with it, but now he's doing, he's doing a lot better. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're, like I said, taking it one day at a time with the homeschooling and he has no, <laughs> JB has no intentions of going back to school. He does not want to go back to school. Matter of fact, everyone I know who is homeschooling their child, the children don't want to go back to a school setting. Um, they're perfectly fine with seeing, I mean, everybody I know, no matter what type of curriculum they're using, no matter if it's virtual school, like Miss Lori's granddaughter, his, his little friend, she goes to his old school, but she does everything online. She doesn't go back in person, <coughs> excuse me. And then other people I know who are using their own curriculum, their children are perfectly fine, but everyone's different because I do know of some other people who kids actually did go back and they're thriving and they're doing better so you guys you know i've been talking to other youtubers and it's been interesting ever since the pandemic hit i think everyone who is a content creator has noticed changes with their channel um and the views have gotten a little low now we're getting into youtube y'all sorry my views are all over the place. Like that one pre-poo video got, I think it's like well over 6,000 views. Um, and then I'll do like my regular hair related videos and sometimes they get over a thousand and sometimes they don't. With that being said, I have no idea what plans I have for my channel this year. Um, I do know I have like two, reviews I have coming up and I feel like I'm repeating this again but there would be when I say that I'm not reviewing any new products meaning that if it's not a line that I have previously reviewed I'm not doing it like there are some lines from like honey honey what is it called honey bee chow so you know I've been on here for eight years and it's there's only so much hair videos I, I, you know, care to even continuing to put out there. But truth of the matter is that that's what you guys watch. And people are still chasing length. Because I'm telling you that rice water video, that fenugreek oil video, or well, oh, the rice water video is like, I think it's like half a million views because again folks are chasing lint over health um the Fennel greek all video i believe is over ten thousand views and i knew those videos would get high views i just i just knew that just from personal um yeah um so but like i said 
I don't know you guys I don't know what I'm trying to say you know I did the story time videos and you know I'm back to my vlogs but those views are so low compared to my hair related and the amount of work that you know you put in is a little discouraging so I'm still doing it you know I will probably take a break the story time videos for a while just because those barely got over a hundred views that's not worth i know a lot of you like those story time videos and i i i'm very very uh, i appreciate the support but a hundred views or 150 views is not worth me putting content up i'm sorry it's not um so yeah no story times for a while um even the vlogging videos have been very low the the views have been very low compared to some of my other videos that's all i'm trying to say i get more people who work who watch my chit chat videos than my vlogging so with me being really busy y'all i guess my whole point is that with me being very busy wearing so many hats in my personal life i need to be mindful of what i'm putting out there so yeah yeah so anyway y'all moving right along what i've been watching on youtube girl first of all we're gonna talk about this helper from new orleans the gorilla glue girl <laughs> common sense is not coming up in here no, I, mean, I felt of course me being an empath i was very sympathetic towards the sister i'm like oh she probably was looking for gorilla snot you know what i mean which is that hair gel with the gorilla on it i'm saying but you have to go unless she ordered the product online oh girl hold on um unless she ordered the product online when you go onto the store that is in the hardware section so why in the hell so there have been people who are saying that it's all an act so there's another YouTuber by the name of, what was her name y'all? December Reed. I think it's December Reed. And she actually, girl, she took one for the team. She actually pulled out the got to be hairspray and she had a, a, a container of the Gorilla Glue, right? And she sprayed that shit on her hair. Now when she, she sprayed it on, I guess it will be this side for y'all. She sprayed it on this side, right? When she sprayed that stuff on her hair, it was white. It did not dry black. Now, if you saw the Gorilla Glue Girl, her hair was black and it was like a cast. It was very hard, right? And we all know by now that she had a surgeon to go in and help her with her hair. Um, and she's perf she's okay now, I guess. Um, she had a GoFundMe account and all that, right? So this one chick, December, I'm going to go ahead and, and link her video in this. And lovely T.I. did a video on it too, debunking the Gorilla Glue Girl and her claims of using that, right? So this chick, like I said, she took one for the team. She sprayed that stuff in her hair. And the video was very, very um, alarming because, it, like I said, it showed that when she sprayed it on her hair, it sprayed white, one. Number two, she showed... This particular YouTuber was able to put dishwashing soap in her hair, move it around, and the glue came out. So, y'all, so is she, you know, is it fake? All right, y'all, so what else am I, hold on, see, you see what I'm saying? You just snuck out of nowhere. All right, so what else I'm watching on YouTube? I have a note here. So, I have a list here. So, okay, December read, Gorilla Glue Girl. Girl, I was watching, <laughs> yesterday was Valentine's Day. And um, why did I wake up? And I woke up and my husband had got me something. He got me chocolate and a car. And I'm like, I told him, like, why does he every year, y'all, he does this. He surprises me. Not every year, but just about every year. I'm like, I don't, I don't expect anything. And so I see he got me something. And I was like, well, let me go ahead and take this bonnet off and do what. <laughs> we grown. Get you anything but, but me. So, <laughs> so girl, what's the point? Okay, so yesterday I jumped on to Dr. Heavenly. Yeah, Dr. Heavenly is a whole fool. I jumped on to her um, live and she was snapping off on somebody on the live. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess the girl was like, my husband makes six figures. And Dr. Heavenly was like, he's probably with another female right now. I'm like, Dr. Heavenly, why are you? <laughs> oh my God, y'all. I don't watch Married to Medicine anymore. So anyway, I was on her live last night, you know, looking at her acting crazy, popping off on people. Um, y'all probably don't watch this and I don't watch it anymore 90 day fiance so remember the young little um is she from the Philippines is she Philippine or Vietnamese I think she's Philippine Filipino I think her name is Rose and she was uh supposedly engaged to Ed the man that didn't have a neck so she has a YouTube channel right and so I was watching some of her videos she's building a house and you know it's very interesting to see how she's really really has used her 15 minutes of fame to help out her circumstances um so yeah watching that i have noticed that well an increase in censorship on youtube um i noticed certain youtubers are very careful of what they say which i understand so that their their um videos or channel do doesn't get flagged um, so what else you guys, besides Dr. Heavenly, you know, I went back and was watching, like, I like to look at gospel, um, you know, videos and stuff. Y'all, I'm sorry, but Tina and Erica from Mary Mary, they are, they're haters, meaning like, their complete body language be off. You know, for them to be Christians, Christians, and I get it, as Christians, we have our flaws, but I feel like, because I was watching several, um, like I was watching Kiki Wyatt when she was singing on Sunday's Best. And I just was look at their overall body language when people were on, was on Sunday Best. And I'm like, I don't know if you're going through stuff at home, but your overall energy is just off. And one of them is worse than the other one. One of not not the one that wears the cute little bob. She's bad, but not as bad as her sister. Her sister energy is way off. So I'm like, y'all gotta get it. Y'all, uh, uh. And I used to watch the reality show, and yeah, mm, mm girl, watching. Okay, so y'all shows I'm watching. I've been watching a lot of TV lately, girl. I don't know how I have time, but I've been making a time. And so one thing I did was yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, Friday. Girl, it was a complete lifetime movie day for me. So, y'all, I watched that movie. <laughs> I think I watched this movie at least once a year with Judith Life. Um, wife, I, what I have it down here. Wife, mother, murderer. It was in the 90s. Look, baby, all of the best lifetime movies were made in the late 80s, early 90s. And this one had Judith Light, right? And so she played Marie Hilly. Okay, so yeah, I know some of y'all remember this movie. So I believe she even poisoned, there was, in the movie, they made it seem like she possibly was poisoning her, um, was it her mother or mother-in-law? But I don't think that was ever proven. So anyway, this crazy woman set up here, killed her husband, tried to kill her daughter for insurance money, right? Then when she got caught, she lost 30 pounds. <laughs> when she got caught, she lost 30 pounds, moved somewhere else, and came back as her twin sister. Y'all, now they all knew it. She thought she was smart, but clearly she ain't smart enough. So they knew that it was her. It was just a matter of time. Um, so I watched it. I watched that straight through because that, that movie makes me just chuckle at myself, you know. And so, and this happened out in Alabama, y'all. Of course, ratchet as Alabama. Watch that. Then I watched the movie about Donna. What was her name? Donna Yak Yaklich. Yeah, Donna Gacklich. And this was the one where, I can't remember her name. She's She was a popular 80s actress too. And so this is the one where she married was married to the um, narco cop, he meaning drug cop. And so he was a weightlifter and in the movie it was portrayed that he was an abuser and he was on steroids, right? 
apparently that was not the case like yeah sometimes i'd be doing a little bit more research on these stories and so lifetime got that all the way wrong he really was was not beating her um even her his stepdaughter came out and said that no that's not the case now from what i understand donna was released years ago like early 2000s she was released from from prison so yeah so anyway and i think i think she's passed away since then so girl yeah i saw that movie girl i was on a kick and then one movie i saw that i've been trying to find for years i finally found it y'all and it was called living with the enemy and it was about a very wealthy like billionaire cheesy as hell wealthy billionaire man who falls in love with a personal assistant uh on like a, a tech conference and girl within two or three days they get engaged and they get married you know one of those type of movies and so she comes to find out that his previous fiance or wife ended up murdered like she was kidnapped and they held her for ransom i'm not going to tell all the story in case you want to watch the cheesy ass movie so yeah i finally found her and i was like this this movie is not as good as I thought it was. Y'all, yeah, I'm like, girl. So, yeah, y'all. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all. Yeah, watching my Lifetime movies. Um, now, as far as series goes, I started to watch Your Honor, but it was a little too fast-paced for me, y'all. I'm like, this is too much. Um, so, I stopped watching it. I have not returned to Game of Thrones. Don't know if I will anytime soon, to be quite honest. Um, I did watch a series on Hulu called Devs. D-E-V-S. Very good. Very different. For a while there, I was like, what the hell? Why do why do they have a hundred foot old girl in the middle? It's like a, a little girl with her hands like this. Part of the movie, a part of the previews I would see is this huge statue of a little girl in the middle of a forest. I mean, this looks weird as hell. It is weird, but it's a good type of weird. And I liked it. Again, it's called Devs, D-E-V-S kind of sorta um stands for development it has to do with it mystery murder um but it's interesting it's different so watch that girl my hair is everywhere yeah my hair finally stopped shedding and i think that i was just going through a phase of shedding which is very normal so y'all a show i've been watching on netflix when i tell you <laughs> i'm laughing because Buried by the Bernards. Okay, it's on Netflix. Girl, what the hell am I doing? Hold on, y'all. Is that it for this side? Hold the line. Oh, Buried by the Bernards. Now, this is about, you know, a black family that got into the funeral home service business. Yeah, it seems like the funeral home is a pretty good, I mean, everybody's going to die. So, it's a pretty good business to get into. So, it's a family. It's all family. It's ran by the entire family. So, it's a um, father. He's a single father. He has two children. Beautiful family. They all have very beautiful eyes. I noticed that. He has two daughters. 24 year old and an 18 year old then there's his mama girl his mama is not playing <laughs> his mama is on there she's the office manager slash boss and girl there's his crazy old uncle and i think it's based out in kentucky is it in kentucky country as hell girl so i'm on the first episode i finished the first episode really really funny different all right, y'all, that is it for me. I'm going to continue to set my hair. If you want to see what this looks like, make sure you check out the upcoming tutorial. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.